Home and One Show with Dave Schultz. Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Hole in One Show presented by Bell Bank and Shields. I'm your host, Dave Schultz. We're back for season five of the Hole in One Show, and we're back and better than ever. We've got a brand new home. We're on the seventh hole of the Fargo Country Club. The most beautiful par three in the entire region is the new home of the Hole in One Show. Now, in the first four seasons of this show, we've raised over $60,000 for charity. That's absolutely fantastic, and it's because of you, the viewer at home, and our wonderful sponsors that made it all happen. Now, this is called the Hole in One Show, and we've been bit by the wind bug the first four seasons. But today, there's not a breath of wind. The whole location's right in the center of the green, and we have great players who are gonna join us on the tee to get two shots to knock it in for a hole in one to win a brand new Cadillac from Gateway Cadillac. We have a lot to get to, so here's the game. Each show, we have six contestants join us. Each contestant gets two shots from 150 yards. The closest shot will win $1,000, their charity of choice, thanks to Shields, and win a brand new PXG putter. That player will then get two putts from 20 feet to double that donation from 1,000 to 2,000 for the Bell Bank charity bonus putt. There is a lot to play for. Let's get to it. It's gonna start right now with the Thurlton Ethanol Pro Shots. I'd like to welcome in the new general manager and head golf pro at Maple River Golf Club, Matt Western. Matt, I'm telling you, it's great to have you on the tee. Thanks for being here. Thanks for having me. So uh, you are just started at Maple River. How long have you been there? Uh, I've worked there for 23 years. You've worked there for 23 years. You're now the GM. How, how much golf have you played this summer? Uh, not that much since I started. Now, when you got here this morning, you're like, whoa, whoa, whoa. I got to hit a couple shots. How are you feeling? A little nervous. <laughs> you got it. You got it. So each shot, Matt hits on the green. We'll add $250 to the winner's charity of choice. Thanks to Therrelson Ethanol. What club do you have? Uh, eight iron. Let's do it. Zach Birchie's 8-iron. Matt Western is on the tee. Let's give Matt a big round of applause to start the day here. Beauty. That's how you start the day. Just going right at it. Get up. Get up. Oh, just short. Just short of the green. Our first contestant on the Maple River show is gonna be Zach Birchie. This is his fourth time on the show. He got a little bit more of that one. It looks like it's gonna catch the right side of the green. It, uh, it did, it did. Hey, nice job, Matt. Nice job, $250 added to the winner's charity of choice. Good job, we'll meet, you. You. we'll meet you at the screen. Let's watch some golf now. Zach Birchie, our first contestant, come on in, bud. Welcome back to the show. You're a veteran. This is your fourth time on the show. Yeah, yeah, we were just talking about that, and uh, I'm trying to avoid the Vikings curse here and going 0 for 4, so <laughs> we'll see if I can get off to a good start. Now, you've run the gamut of results here on the show, right? Yeah. Yeah, you want to recap that a little for us? <laughs> well, we want content, right? We want hole of ones or interesting shots. Zach had the hosel one time, but today, this is we've talked about this. This is your chance. It is. It is. I'm feeling pretty good, and like you said, we got a beautiful day, and we're not battling a 30 mile an hour wind uphill. So now, in qualifying, you are you're a veteran of the show. You always wait till the, we have three hour qualifying windows, and Zach always shows up with 15 minutes left, so he knows exactly what he needs to do. But it didn't come easy this year. It took you like down to the last shot. It did. It did. Yeah, we were out playing a little extra golf on uh, after the tournament and, and came over and I had to buy a couple extra shots to get on the show. So, <laughs> well, I'm thrilled that you're here. So why don't you share with everybody uh, where are you from and what do you do? Uh, so I live out in Mapleton, um, have for about four years now, and uh, I run an underground utility company in town, Eagle River Utility Solutions. And yeah, play a lot of golf at Mapleton and qualify for the show a lot <laughs> you do qualify for the show a lot i know we're still looking for the club championship you're a heck of a player but we're still looking for a club championship yeah that one's hanging over my head a little bit but <laughs> all right good players out there it's there tough are, there are a lot of good players at maple river so let's talk about uh, the charity you're going to play for who are we going to win money for today uh north dakota autism center again all right zach good luck Thank you. zach birchie on the tee for two Good swings, Matt. That was that was good. One just short of the green, but yeah, I hit the first one a little bad, but that's all right. Zach can play. There's no doubt about it. Oh, yeah, he's a good player. <laughs> he is a popular figure at Maple River. He helps you guys out with a lot of projects around yeah, the course does. too. Zach has a nine iron. Yes, beautiful shot. If it's enough, it's right at it. Is it short? He's saying it's short, but it looks good. Yep, just short of the green. 
Same club? You can, you can, ch okay, chunked a little bit. Our players have the option to change clubs. I mean, there's a Cadillac on the line, right? I wouldn't go for one more. But. <laughs> Looked like you got a lot of that first one. Ah, I got it heavy again. It again. Go. It's about 50 degrees this morning. Oh, oh. Two shots right at it, though, Zach. Hey, thanks for being on the show, bud. Appreciate you. All right, our next contestant, he was on the show last year, Grant Brittner. Come on in, bud. Nice to see you. Yeah. Go Bison. Go Bison. 3-0, oh, right? Come on in closer here. Uh, so why don't you share with everybody a little bit about yourself. Uh, I'm originally from Dickinson, North Dakota. I'm a college student here at NDSU in my sophomore year studying math and computer science. Good stuff. How often do you play golf? I try to get out about once a week on the weekends if I can. Where do you play? Mostly Rose Creek, but right. anywhere that's open. I mean, uh, have you shot under par? What's your handicap? I'm about a six to seven handicap. Never shot under par. Okay. So. You made a hole in one? I haven't. I'm looking. Today's going to be the day. Well, you have your driver's license, right? <laughs> I do. Okay, I, good. All right. What's your, what club are you going to hit today? You have two here. Um, I think I'm going to start with a choke down eight iron. Yeah. It's a little cold out. It tonight. is a little cold. Yeah. Like I said, it's about 50 degrees. Um, what chair do you want to play for? Uh, pray for gray. Pray for gray. Good luck. All right. Grant Bittner on the tee. What a beautiful day. Oh, it's awesome. No wind. We have, uh, it's a 150 yard shot and there is a 15 foot circle up there. Um, each shot, player hits inside the circle, win $100 to Shields. And again, the closest shot on this episode, every episode will win $1,000 their charity of choice, thanks to Shields. Pulled it left. Looks like it might be the right stick. R Oop, rinsed it. Okay, Grant's second shot. You went up there on the green. Wait, Zach's, both of Zach's shots right on it. Yeah, they're right at it. He'd say it's about a club with this temperature. I think it's playing at least one. It's going just right of the green. Kick. Just off the right side. Okay, thanks, Grant. Okay. Thanks for being on the show. You bet. All right, Matt Western hit one shot on the green, $250 added to the winner's charity of choice. We're still looking for one on the green. We'll be right back after this. We know switching banks takes time, but what if we told you that at Bell Bank, we have a team that knows you by name. Worth it. Or real people that answer the phone within 22 seconds. Worth it. A bank that you can trust that will never hit you with sneaky fees? It's so worth it. Switch and see why Bell Bank is worth it. Bell Bank, member FDIC. Eagle River Utility Solutions knows anything less than high-speed internet is a waste of time. Connecting people is what we do. We're eager to be part of the solution for extending infrastructure to rural communities and deliver a more powerful, faster, and reliable internet. Fiber optic installation with directional boring is just one example of the investment Eagle River Utility Solutions makes in people and equipment. If you're looking for quality, trust, and care in your next contractor, visit EagleRiverUtility.com to learn more. In a world where insurance can feel just like another transaction, there's someone who believes in more than just policies and premiums. Hi there, I'm Renee Forty, your local State Farm insurance agent. At State Farm, we're not just here to sell you insurance, we're here to make a difference. We believe in giving back to the community that we call home. Because to us, it's not just about protecting your assets, it's about protecting what matters most, our neighbors and friends. So whether you need assistance with insurance or just want to chat about how we can make the community better, come on by, we're here to help. We're here to make life go right.
Welcome back, folks. We're off and running here in season five of the Hole in One Show. Let's take a quick look at the Gateway Cadillac leaderboard. Our first two contestants didn't hit the green, but Grant Bittner measured in there at 54 feet, seven inches. Now I want to touch on the Dakota Medical Foundation shot of the season. The closest shot on the entire season of the show will win $2,500 to that player's charity of choice. Let's keep going right now. I'd like to welcome in our third contestant, April Barker. Now, April, you've been on the show before. Welcome back. Thank you. Good to be here, Dave. You got it. You were on last year, and how did it go? I'm um, not good in the wind. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a little calmer today. So you have experience. What have you done to prepare for your uh, your next two shots on TV? Uh, I had a couple shots at the driving range, and that's about it. We've been freezing up to here this morning. <laughs> it's been pretty chilly. The nice thing about the driving range here at the FCC, it's the same shot. It's the same direction, right? And now, obviously, nice conditions, 150 yards. What club is that for you? I'm going to hit my five iron today. Usually it would be like probably my six iron. Okay, so taking one more for the cold. Uh, what uh, charity do you want to play for? For love of dogs. You ready? No. No? Okay, good luck. All right. April Barker on the tee. <laughs> Plays a bunch of golf out there, right? Absolutely, all the time. Caught it off... Uh, the heel a little bit going to the right what a situation right it's not easy not easy up here let's get one up there on the green maybe knock it in that's pretty good going to the right edge of the green has got to get up a little bit just in that front right bunker all right thanks april thanks for being on the show all right our next contestant has also been on the show before reed anderson come on in reed how you doing bud Good to see you. Good to see you. So what's going on? What uh, Tell everybody a little bit about yourself. Uh, originally from Foston, Minnesota. Live in Fargo now. Uh, work for, I work for uh, Muskox Snowblowers. They're uh, skid sear attachment. And they can back drag and blow at the same time. So. How old are your kids now? They are 12 and 9. And are they into, Caribbean story, by the way. Are they into golf? Yes. We just got them into golf. So, yeah, they're loving it. So Where do you, where do you all play? Oz good usually. Yeah, that's a lot of fun. Yeah, it is. It's a good time. So what clubs do you have today? I have an eight iron right now. So what experience are you taking in from the last time you were on the show? Uh just try to hit a good shot. It's a different venue. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. That's that's true. And no wind, like you said. <laughs> so it's should be good. Who are we playing for? Uh Make a Wish Foundation. Landon's off camera here. He's he's rooting for you. You got your caddy here. Yeah, exactly. He's on a show later in the season. He doesn't have the music going though, which is oh, usually what I like. So what was his walk up music again? It was, it was like a genuine. genuine. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, well, yeah. Well. Turn it on. Po luck. Pony by genuine. Okay, good luck. <laughs> Reed Anderson on the tee for two. Reed and Landon. Love coming out to the qualifiers. Reed's first shot. Going to the left edge of the green, got to get up a little bit. Might be in the, ooh, splash down. Second shot for Reed. That was hit much better. It's going to the left edge of the green. Got to get over that bunker to catch a piece. Hey, got yep, up there. On the green. On the green, pin high. Reed, I think we have a new leader. Right, you got to sweat out a couple more contestants, yeah, exactly. but nice job. All right, thanks. thanks. Thanks for being on the show. You bet. All right, we'll take the tape measure to reads, and we'll be right back after this. Hey everyone, Dave Schultz here, the head golf professional at the Fargo Country Club. This is your Dakota Junior Golf Association Pro Tip. Hey golfers, it's been a long winter and it's almost time to get outside and start playing golf off of grass. That's what I want to share with you today. A little drill that I like to do to help me get more club head awareness at the top of the swing, more feel and more tempo through the golf swing. I take a 56 degree wedge, line up to the ball, very simply take the club to the top of the swing, hold it for one full second and go ahead and release and hit the ball. And once you get the tempo slowed down and you start actually feeling the club through the impact zone, you're gonna be able to actually start working on your golf game and having a lot of fun this season on the golf course. Dave Schultz, head golf pro at the Fargo Country Club. That was your Dakota Junior Golf Association pro tip.
Founded in 1988, the Dakota Junior Golf Association was developed by a group of golfers wanting to provide for and promote junior golf activities in the area. The vision of the DJGA is to become the premier junior golf organization in the upper Midwest and create the next generation of lifelong golf enthusiasts. Visit our website, djga.org, to find out how you can be a part of the excitement. Together, let's drive at Gateway Fargo, the all-new 2024 Chevrolet Equinox. Over 65 to choose from, all with the most desirable features you want. Save up to six grand on a new Equinox today. Are you looking for a new Chevy Silverado? Gateway has over 200 new Silverados to choose from. Plus, trade in your truck and save up to 10 grand on a new Silverado. Only at Gateway Chevrolet. Together, let's drive. Details at FargoChevrolet.com. At iConsultants of North Dakota, we'll help you see your best. Whether you're dealing with glaucoma, cataracts, or macular degeneration, we provide comprehensive medical and surgical care to treat a wide range of issues for patients of all ages. Our doctors use the latest technologies combined with personal caring attention to meet your eye health needs. Call today or go online at iConsultantsND.com. Alan Pritchard started this business in 2002 and has become a major part of the golfing community in not only Fargo-Moorhead, but also the entire state of North Dakota. What Alan Pritchard started in 2002 with All Season Motorsports is exactly what we want to continue to do with All Season in the future, to continue to influence the golf cart community in many ways, continue the legacy. Welcome back, everybody, to the Hole in One Show. We've got a shot on the green. Let's take a quick look at the Gateway Cadillac leaderboard. Reed Anderson had a good shot in there, pin high, 38 feet, 3 inches, and he's our current leader with two more contestants to come here shortly. But first, I'd like to welcome in back in Matt Western. Now, Matt, you said you've been at the uh, Maple River Golf Club for 23 years. 2024 will be your first year as a GM. Mm -hmm. That's got to be pretty special to be able to take over the helm at Maple River. Yeah, I've been out there forever, and I love that place, so it's just spending a little more time. It used to be part-time, now it's full-time gig, so. You fun. bet. It's all about the people you're around, right? Mm -hmm. Great people at Maple River, very, very loyal to the club, play a bunch of golf. Just talk about the atmosphere out at Maple River. Yeah, kind of a, uh, everyone loves to have fun, drink beer, and yeah, you know, <laughs> listen to music, so. And everyone has their own cart, so. That's about the best commercial you could ever say for Maple River right there. Good job. Good yep. start. Good start. Uh, now, you don't play too much. Well, you, you did used to play a lot of golf. But just a, a warning, golf. you're probably not going to play as much golf next yeah, year. I understand that, for sure. <laughs> but it's a uh, it's a great place, and, and I know everybody's excited to have you there as a GM. So mm -hmm. best of luck in 2024. Now, let's preview these guys. Josh Melby and uh, Mark Stengram. Mark hit it to seven inches in qualifying. He wow. almost dunked it. They've got to beat 38 three inches. What do you think here on these last two contestants? I'd just like to see somebody, somebody else hit the green. <laughs> <laughs> 15 foot circle will win them a hundred dollars to shields. And then, you know what, if they knock it in the, in the hole, they're going to be driving away in a brand new Cadillac. I'll see you at the screen. Let's okay. bring them on in right now. Our fifth contestant I'd like to welcome in Josh Melby, Josh, welcome to the show. Now, last year there was a Melby on the show. There was. You were caddying, and you, your dad made the show. He did. And now he's here caddying for you. Yes, he's here. <laughs> How you doing, Dad? Uh, let's share with everybody a little bit about yourself. Uh, born and raised at Thief River Falls. Uh, been at Fargo Moore right here for about 25 years. And what are you doing? Uh, I drive truck for XPO. Excellent. Excellent. Yep. So how often are you golfing then? About once a week. Okay. About all I have time for. Do you bring your clubs on the road? I do not. Just I'm home ahead. every night. Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. So how, uh, once a week, where do you play? Uh, usually at Maple River. Yeah. yeah. And your handicap? About a 14. Okay. You ready for this? I'm ready. All right. What uh, what charity are you going to play for? Uh, for Love a Dog Rescue. For Love a Dog Rescue. They're rooting for you. We are too. 38 feet, 3 inches what you need to beat. Good luck. Thank you. Josh Melby on the tee. Melby was out last night working on his game. Yeah, there was some, uh, there was some cramming for the test here this morning on the driving range. Yep. Trying to get loose, get warm, then you come out here to the tee and you got to sit around and uh, wait for your chance. Again, 150 yards, 15 foot circle. Let's do it. 
picked up pretty good. Going to the right edge of the green. Carry the bunker. Oh, good kick. Good kick. Hey, now, that might be a new leader. Hey, you got a friendly bounce. That kicked right off the back, right towards the hole. That's going to be close. Going to go right of the kick. green. Yep, going to the right edge of the green. But that first one, hey, we may have a new leader. Good shot, good shot, nice job. And our final contestant here on the Maple River Show, I'd like to welcome in Mark Stangram. Hit it to seven inches in qualifying from the center of the hole, so really it was about, what, four inches from going in. Talk about that shot. You stepped up and uh, you almost knocked it in. Yeah, I think it was more of blind dog, or was it blind dog finds a bone, but yeah. <laughs> blind squirrel, right? Okay, there you go. Blind dog, I've heard that one, but that, hey, that works. Uh, uh, talk about <laughs> the better noses, right? Let's talk about a little bit about yourself. Uh, I live out in Horace, play a lot of golf at Leonard, and electrician in town. Awesome. We're, what uh, company? Uh, First Nation Electric. Awesome. How often do you play golf at Leonard? Try to get out a couple times, a couple times a week. What club do you have this morning? I got a nine starting with. Okay, you can switch. Do you got eight? In the, yeah, eight. you can absolutely switch between shots if you need to. What, uh, what chair do you want to play for? Uh, down home. Down home, good luck. All right. Our final contestant on the Maple River Show. Obviously, if he hits it near the circle, he's going to be the winner of the Maple River Show. The winner, closest shot, $1,000, their charity of choice, thanks to Shields and a brand new PXG putter for the next segment for the Bell Bank Charity Bonus Putt. He caught it heavy. I don't know if he can get information from that shot if he needs to in the water if uh, if he needs to switch clubs or not he is going to switch yeah. sometimes when you're swinging a little harder you can kind of dig down on it and chunk it yeah. so or just pick one more and take it nice and easy our final full swing of the maple river show Two gloves. Two gloves. Hit that one pretty good. He got a lot of it. It's going to the left edge of the green. Going to the left edge of the green. Pretty Pin high close. left. I don't know. I think you're. I think you're closer than Reed. But nice job. Thanks for being on the sh being on the show. We don't know. We'll take the tape to it. We'll be right back after this to see who's going to be hitting the two putts from 20 feet for the Bell Bank Charity Bonus Putt right after this. Every golfer needs a caddy, just like every home buyer or seller needs a realtor. Jason Schmidt and Darren Schmidt with Oak Tree Realtors are here to provide you with exceptional service for all your real estate needs. Helping families find their dream homes in the Bismarck, Mandan, and surrounding area with a combined 28 years of experience. They want you to be a customer for life. Contact us, Darren Schmidt, Jason Schmidt with Oak Tree Realtors for all your real estate needs. Our roots run deep in our community. Every life deserves a special time of honor. At Hanson Runsvold Funeral Home, while we celebrate life, we also choose to live in the moment, like spending time with family, passing down our traditions and hobbies. That's what I love about golf. It's an opportunity to listen, learn, share, pay attention to details, and plan for the next shot. Most of all, it's a chance to spend precious time with family and friends. That's what's really important. Hanson Runsvold, bringing families and friends together since 1920. With over 500 new and used golf carts in stock, All Season Motorsports is North Dakota's number one golf cart and utility vehicle dealer. Check out our huge selection of club car units. We have a perfect ride for your farm, lake, business, or neighborhood. Looking to upgrade your cart? We can help you customize with lights, sound bar, lift, rims, or seats. And we service and repair all carts and utility vehicles. Family owned and operated in West Fargo for 25 years and coming soon to Bismarck. All Season Motorsports. We know switching banks takes time. But what if we told you that at Bell Bank, we have a team that knows you by name. Worth it. Or real people that answer the phone within 22 seconds. Worth it. A bank that you can trust that will never hit you with sneaky fees. It's so worth it. Switch and see why Bell Bank is worth it. Bell Bank, member FDIC.
Welcome back, everybody. We're up here on the green. Josh Melby with the bounce off the back of the bunker, 37 feet, one inch, just narrowly beat Reed Anderson. Mark was just outside 39 feet. Nice job, Josh. Thank you, sir. $1,000 to your charity of choice, the uh, For Love of Dog from, from Shields. Now you get a chance right here, two putts from 20 feet for the Bell Bank Charity Bonus Putt to double your donation from 1000 to 2000 Matt hit one shot on the green, so $250 added. Why For the Love of, of Dog? Just always been a big fan of animals and like to see him go to a good home. Now you've won a new PXG putter. Let's see if we love this thing right off the bat. All right, good luck. Thank you. All right. Not always easy putting with a new putter. And without, right out the gate too. Yep. Go, go, go. That's a good putt. That's a good putt. This putt is pretty much straight, right up the hill. There's a little bit of dew on the ground. This is a thousand dollar putt. I hope he makes it. Makes a little laugh. Get in there. Go, go, go. Oh my gosh, just broke left at the end. Nice try. Hey, still $1,250 to uh, For Love a Dog. Folks, we'll be right back after this to wrap up the show on the tee box. Why are PXG Black Ops drivers, Gen 6 irons, Battle Ready 2 putters, and more the gold standard for golf clubs? Unrivaled quality, advanced engineering, and absolutely exceptional performance. Book your fitting now at pxg.com to see for yourself why PXG sticks are as good as gold. PXG, nobody makes golf clubs the way we do, period. Golf to me is patience. It's weird to say, but golf is life. It is, it's the ultimate game of life. You know, it's an individual sport. You have to put in a lot of work to get minimally better. That's kind of the beauty of it. You come back to improve. That's why I love golf is just every shot is, is different. That next round, that next shot, you know it could be that start of a story. I don't even want to say a game, it's more than a game. Welcome back, everybody. We're here on the tee to close out the show. Josh Melby is your Maple River Show champion, 37 feet, one inch. Hey, it got the job done. You're going to the championship show. I'm excited. Yep, $1,000 for the love of dog, and then 250 added for Matt's shot on the green. Uh, congratulations. Now, I'll be back tonight for the championship show. Uh, what are you going you to do? You're a seasoned vet now. What are you going to take from today and bring with you to the uh, championship show? Um, maybe just try to be a little less nervous for the <laughs> taping tonight and uh, put another good lick on it. Yep. So the winner of the show tonight will win a brand new set of PXGs. That's pretty outstanding. What clubs do you play now? I'm playing TaylorMade. Okay. Yep. The sixes. Well, you're in the market, aren't you? I am. I'm due. All right. Well, best of luck tonight. Can't wait to have you back. And nice job today. Thank you. Matt, thanks for being a co-host on this show. It was great to have you. And uh, best of luck with everything at Maple River in 2024. Appreciate that, Dave. Thanks. No, you bet. Hey, and you shot, hit one shot on the green. $250 added to the winner's charity of choice. Josh, for the love of dog. It was a fun show. We're off and running here in season five. Thanks for being with us, folks. Now, next week on the show, we're going to welcome in a great group, the home team. Fargo Country Club is on their home course on next week of the show. Thanks for being with us, and we'll see you then. Now, in the first four seasons of this show, we've been able to raise over 40 to knock it in for a nah! Grant Bittner is currently in the lead with 54 feet four. <clears throat> oh yeah, we can start over. Yeah, we can start over. 